On Thursday night, the Toronto Maple Leafs faced a tough 5-1 defeat against the St. Louis Blues, a game that not only left fans disheartened, but also revealed moments of frustration on the team's bench. Coach Craig Berube didn't hesitate to express his outrage when the Blues scored their third goal, an action that certainly resonated among the players. The crucial goal happened at 7.58 of the second period, with Alexander Texier extending the Blues' lead. The play began after a turnover by Austin Matthews, which left the Leafs at a disadvantage. Barubi's frustration was palpable as he lost his patience and yelled at the bench. And who wouldn't be upset in a situation like this, right? It truly raises the question, how can the team handle pressure moments like this? After the game, Matthews addressed the incident with a calmness that many admired. When asked about Barubi's outburst, he explained that such reactions are part of the game. It's hockey. You get yelled at sometimes, Matthews said, as reported by TSN journalist Mark Masters. This statement reveals a very human side of the captain, recognizing that strong emotions are part of the sport. Have you ever felt that intense pressure in your daily life? How did you handle it? Commenting on the team's struggles, Matthews was clear that their performance wasn't meeting his expectations. Obviously, it has an impact, he continued referring to Barubi's presence and the respect everyone has for his work. This speaks volumes about the team's dynamics. As a fan, how do you view the interaction between coach and players? Don't you think open communication could be an essential difference maker? The defeat was a clear signal that the Leafs need to reevaluate their approach and find ways to play at their highest level. Despite the difficulties, the way Matthews and Barubi handle pressure could serve as an example for the team. What do you think the Leafs should do to bounce back from these losses? What changes could bring the most benefits in the short term? This situation certainly adds a new layer of complexity to Matthew's leadership role and Barubi's emotional management. The Maple Leafs are a team full of potential, and moments like these can shape not only the season, but the future of the club. Facing the next challenge, it will be interesting to see how the team responds to this adversity. Do you think the Leafs can turn things around? The start of the season has not been easy for the Toronto Maple Leafs offense. After a few challenging games, the anticipation for a change has grown stronger, especially with a potential trade proposal that could make a difference. The team seems to be eyeing the acquisition of talented forward Brian Russ from the Pittsburgh Penguins, and it's hard not to imagine the impact he could have on the Leafs' performance. The Puck GM tool from the Puckpedia website allows NHL fans to create their own trades, and a user proposed a deal that would bring Rust and young Drew O'Connor to the Maple Leafs. This trade involves some interesting pieces and raises the question, what do you think Rust could bring to the team? Could he be the missing piece to boost the offense? In the proposed scenario, the Maple Leafs would also receive O'Connor, while the Penguins would gain Nick Robertson, David Kampf, and William Villeneuve. The idea that Toronto could strengthen with two impactful players is drawing fans' attention. Rust has been a pillar for the Penguins, effectively contributing to two Stanley Cup championships in 2016 and 2017. Could he become the force the Leafs need to contend again? In his third season of a six-year, $30.75 million contract, Rust recorded 28 goals and 28 assists last season, showcasing his offensive abilities. What do fans think? On a team looking for more goals, how could Russ transform the Leafs' attack? Could he be that crucial forward who makes the difference in tight games? O'Connor also has value. He could add a new dynamic to the roster as a solid bottom six forward. With problems on their lower line, how could the Maple Leafs benefit from his skills? Could his addition bring more balance to the team? Meanwhile, the Penguins would be rejuvenated with the inclusion of Robertson a fan-favorite player selected by Kyle Dubas, the current GM of Pittsburgh. Although Robertson requested a trade, he eventually opted for a one-year contract this offseason. What will his chances be now? This trade could offer the player a fresh opportunity in Pittsburgh, while the Maple Leafs secure a decisive reinforcement. The trade also mentions Kampf and Villeneuve, who could also impact how the Penguins play. Kampf, in particular, known for his defensive efforts, could be a fundamental addition to solidify Pittsburgh's defense. Do you believe this trade would be a positive change for both teams? Alongside the trade buzz, the Maple Leafs also need to look at their on-ice performance. The team's power play is in a rough patch, 
ranking only 27th in the NHL with an 11.1% efficiency. Fans are hoping the team can quickly turn this around. How do you think a new addition like Russ could influence this aspect, especially in critical game situations? Maple Leafs coach Craig Berube expressed his concern about the current situation, mentioning that the team needs a bit more objectivity. This resonates with many fans who also feel that the team could adopt a more direct approach. Do you agree that the team should play more objectively? What do you think could improve the team's overall performance? Captain Austin Matthews also made sincere comments about the need for improvement, acknowledging the desire to do more to help the team. This is not just a call for consistency, but also a chance to see Matthews' leadership shine. Could seeing responsibility on the captain change the team's energy and inspire everyone to overcome obstacles? The Maple Leafs have a chance to redeem themselves on October 26th when they face the Boston Bruins. Fans are eager. Will they be able to turn the game around and show a performance worthy of their potential? To conclude, this recent defeat for the Toronto Maple Leafs against the St. Louis Blues truly made us reflect on the pressure the players face. Coach Craig Berube's frustration was clear, and Austin Matthews' response reflects the intensity of the game and the reality of being part of this team. It's a reminder that, even in tough moments, passion and determination are essential. Now, the big question remains. Could Brian Russ be the missing piece to turn things around? As fans, we all have hopes and expectations for the team's future. What do you think should change for the Leafs to shine again? I'm curious to hear your opinions. And if you enjoyed this content, please like, subscribe, and turn on notifications. Let's stay together on this journey, following each step of the Maple Leafs. Don't hesitate to leave your comment below. Your ideas are always welcome. Let's hope for better days ahead.